Hello there. Uh, you might be wondering, why am I riding an electric moped? Well, it's because these things are getting increasingly popular with car drivers and motorbike riders alike. And it's because they're so easy to ride, cheap to run, and of course they can cut your commute time significantly. And this is a cool looking one from a brand called Niu. I think it looks great, but should we see if it's great to ride too? So if you live in a city or a town, or you live anywhere where there's a quick 24 hour delivery service offered, you're probably very, very familiar with the electric moped. Even if you've never ridden one, you probably see them everywhere. And in London, you often see them all gathered at the front of the queue for traffic lights, all raring to get off the line as quickly as possible. And it's because these little mopeds are increasingly popular with delivery firms and interestingly, and most interestingly, I think for this test, commuters as well, because they're a great way, of course, to miss the traffic, but also have the simplest of running when it comes to a moped. You don't have to worry about checking your oil or thinking about fuel, and especially if you like two-stroke stuff, you don't have to think about mixing fuel and oil. All you have to do is make sure it's plugged in and charged up and has battery power to get you wherever you need to go. Now, this little Neo, well, it's at the entry level of this kind of stuff. Even this top of the range model here, even with the long range battery, it's barely over 4,000 pounds listed, but you still get decent range for an urban commuter. You get 56 miles of range on this long range version, and it drops down to about 44 miles of claimed range if you drop to the normal range battery. Now you might be thinking, well, hang on a minute, that's barely any range, but don't forget that when you're in town, and especially if you're whizzing around the city center, to do 40 or 50 miles in a day, well, you're actually doing quite a lot of motoring. And most of the time you'll be spent doing what I'm doing right now, which is cruising along at about 20 mile an hour behind a queue with a bus ahead of me and every other type of vehicle you can imagine in the traffic ahead. Now this actually has three drive modes. We've got an e-save mode. So if I click down to that, an e-save mode here, which is supposedly able to regen some energy actually, but mostly all I notice it doing is actually just really making my accelerator really slow. If I twist it back, oh, nothing really happens for the first like 25% of travel. If you click it back into what is this normal setting or dynamic mode, as it says on the screen, well, then now I've got, yeah, it's still pretty hesitant on reaction, but I can feel that it picks up quite a bit quicker. But it's the sport mode here where you get with just probably a quarter rotation of the throttle. It feels like you're getting almost all of your power delivery. And OK, yeah, this thing is not breakneck fast. It's not going to set your hair on fire, but it's quick enough. Honestly, when you're pulling away from the traffic lights, this thing will keep up with anything else. It will keep up with the 125cc mopeds and dare I say it, it will keep up with some of the sports bikes unless they're really going for it. And not only is it easy to get through traffic, but actually the visibility on these mirrors is surprisingly good. They're tiny little retro style circular mirrors, but the visibility is really good. I've got them angled so they point over my shoulders or actually just, just to the side of my shoulder. And the visibility is great and they don't poke out too much actually. So as I whiz through this traffic here, look at that, that was easy. Didn't have any issues getting through that there. So simple. And now I can whiz around this car. <laughs> yeah, this is good. Corners can be fun as well. There we go. There's a nice bend. Oof. So it's more than quick enough and you can certainly beat the cars away from the lights. And I can demonstrate that here as a clean, safe place to overtake. Get up to 30 mile an hour. Yeah, nice and safe and easy to overtake. And I had loads of room around me. Now you might be able to hear, I'm being jiggled around a bit. Yep, that's quite bumpy. Some of that's to do with the fact that the UK roads these days aren't exactly, they're not smooth at all really, are they? But other bits is to do with the fact that because this is heavier than your normal 125cc moped, because having a big battery under my seat here means it does add to the weight. Well, that does mean that there's a lot more to control in terms of mass. And so you are jiggled around a fair bit and there's not tons and tons of suspension travel. You can't get that on a moped. But I have to say, it doesn't ride bad at all. I recently rode Sayet's little moped that they're doing in partnership with an electric brand. There'll be a link on the screen now if you want to find that review. But that I found to jiggle around quite a bit more because it was bigger, it was heavier, it had a removable battery. It jiggled me around more. This is slightly more compliant. 
But then on the flip side, it's also not quite as quick. Off the line, full power. I'm hanging onto the back of a 125cc moped ahead of me. But you know, if you want it to be a bit nippier and you really want to show up some petrol stuff, then I think actually you're going to have to spend a bit more. But this is, that's not really what this is about, is it? This is about being nimble and light. And as I genuinely put no effort into steering this thing with my arms, but instead steer entirely with my hips, because it feels so light, so agile, so nimble, I can go around this corner here, basically with a tiny flick of my hips, which is very, very fun, I must say. It's really effortless. If, of course, if I want to tip the handlebars, then you can start to move the, the moped around, but it's what makes it feel so light. And it's the fact that anyone of any shape, any size, any height, you're going to be able to ride this thing. No problems whatsoever. I've noticed as well that if I come off the power, it coasts nice and smoothly. There's no jerkiness with the power when I'm on and off the accelerator. It's just nice and smooth. And the front and rear brakes feel very strong, very strong indeed. You do get a USB port. You get a little hook as well for your shopping bag or whatever you need to hang off the, the front of the moped. And you also get a cup holder, which is of course going to be handy, especially on cold days like today when you need something warm to put your hands against. Look, I can use the bus lane because motorbikes and peds are allowed to use the bus lane. It's great, look at that. Everyone's in a queue. Look at me on my little zero emission moped. This is fun. Well, that was uh, quite a lot of fun actually. I really enjoyed riding this Miu. It's so easy to get used to. It couldn't be much simpler in operation and it's so light and nimble. You don't even have to think about it. Going through traffic on this is an absolute doddle. And I really like the way it looks as well. In fact, so much so that out of all the e-mopeds I see around on the market at the moment, I think this might just be my favorite one. If I upgrade my outfit to match it, I think it looks really cool. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click the like button and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. See you soon.